Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. One reason players get a woman's attention. One reason. Now, I know normally I would do this on the men's side, but, you know, I actually did a similar uh, podcast to what I'll be talking about today. So what is the one reason a player gets y'all attention? Because we know, you know, very few women say they want players. (laughs) Very few of y'all. I mean, publicly, even privately, y'all will say y'all want that. Yeah, you do want that guy that you like looking at. Or at least good with looking at it, at least. Some, some of y'all don't want that pretty boy. But at least, you know, decent looking. And, you know, has some style to him, know how to dress. You know, wash his ass and brush his teeth. You know. Y'all definitely want that. And there's nothing wrong with that. And a lot of players have that. But that's not the one reason they get it. Because you'd be surprised how many guys out here got good bodies. Got some style, brush their teeth, you know, wash around, wash wash their private parts. (laughs) There's plenty of them, but they ain't necessarily players. And then the woman's still not hooking up with them. But the one reason a player will get a woman's attention is he engages y'all. He engages y'all because that's one of the things I'm seeing because I've, you know what, I understand something when I do this uh, podcast for y'all. You know, and I'm not sure what other guys think, but I actually talk to y'all. Even some women who might not be feeling me, I actually talk to women. I talk to y'all. I have real conversations with women. And what I'm starting to see is the same thing over and over. And the women could be in different locations, different parts of the country, different parts of the world, different races, religions, everything. Right. And they saying the same thing. These guys out here ain't talking to y'all. But see what the player do? He'll talk to you. Now, say you walk into a room, right? You got 20 men. And you could be the only woman. So you got 20 men, and you would think, you would normally think, oh, yeah, y'all in Hall Kevin. Right? Normally. You would think that. But the situation we got out here today, you okay, you got 20 men. And you could think, you know, you could think like maybe a few of my, I mean, you could think probably 15 of them are handsome, right? If I have some, then fine, but they might not say anything to you. They might not say anything. So you, you're dealing with the other five who are like, cool. You know, they ain't, they all right, all right. One might even be bone ugly, right? So it's like the 15 that are like really handsome might not talk to you. Right. For whatever reason, even though you're the only woman in there and, you know, and there's myriad reasons for that, which I probably had to address more on the men's channel. But, you know. Only guys who try to come at you, in fact, the other of the other four, they might feel they ugly anyway. Four out of the other five might feel they ugly. But see, that one is a player. What he do, he come up, he start talking to you. You know, and, you know, he ain't just some socially awkward dude with some, like, whack conversation or anything. He actually make you laugh. He actually makes you laugh. He engages. He knows he compliments you properly. You know, he might just say, hey, I like how you did your hair, or I like that dress, how you wearing it, or, you know, or you nail, oh, wow, your nails look great. So, oh, first of all, he's not just engaging you, but he's engaging you in a way that makes you feel good. He's, he's using that verbal aphrodisiac. He's giving you that pleasure. He's, he's making you feel good, bringing a smile to your face. Now, at first, you know, you would think, well, all these handsome guys, uh, you know, some people would think, well, she should just go over to that handsome guy. And let's be real with that, really, because I've heard some other people saying, well, women need to approach guys more and stuff. Well, first of all, anybody smart knows women in general are risk adverse. Let me say that word again. Risk adverse. So you're not going to just like just go up and approach it. You're concerned whether or not that dude is going to be interested, whether he's going to reject you and stuff. So that's not an easy thing. Now, yes, there are guys 
yes, there are guys who just going to be so fine, so whatever to you, and even look approachable that you're going to approach. But let's be real. That's like 1% of the population, and it's going to be hard for you to get in that position to find that guy. So, you you know, you sitting there, you're like, well, yeah, they look good, but they ain't saying anything to me. All of a sudden, that player come up, man, he's like, he's engaging you. And, it, it, you know, you could, some ways you can call it settling, but, you know, we know y'all want some play. Yeah, I want to do that. That's part of, you, part of the nature. And then, you know, as he talked to you, he got a good conversation, hit, hitting you with that verbal aphrodisiac, hitting you with those good words and stuff, or, you know, what some people call the mouthpiece. All of a sudden, he started looking good to you. But the key to it all is not even so much what he's saying or how he may look or whatever. It's the fact that he's engaging you. That's the players. That's, and see, some women, I've known plenty of women who get caught up with players. And some even, they, not to the point, they say, I keep getting caught up with players. They're the ones talking to you. They're the ones talking to you because, you know, you get a lot of women say, we don't like players. We don't want to play. We want that outstanding guy. No, yeah, I've seen. Like I said, I've known plenty of women. I understand why. Most of y'all ain't trying to share. <laughs> most, of y'all, most of y'all ain't trying to share. And some, some of y'all will even reject a player because y'all be like, oh, he a player. I ain't trying to stare with it. But then you slide back through, you know, or you show some interest because he the only guy trying to talk to you. He the only guy trying to get with you because we, you know, the players – Man, I could say we. The players, understand, y'all still want attention. Yeah, I still want attention. And, you know, just the nature of a woman's sexuality is to draw men to her. Y'all eggs don't go out and get fur. You don't, the eggs don't leave your body, you know. Yeah, the eggs don't leave your body, go over to the man and go in and get the sperm and come back. Psychologically, on a subconscious thing, in order to get pregnant, you know, which is the main, you know, that's that's a primary thing with women. You got to draw the man to you. But at the same time, in most cases, you can only deal with the men that you draw to you. Like, okay, let's use that example with the one woman and uh, uh, 20 guys in a room. You know, even though 15 are handsome to her, to her, they might look at her and be, you know, they might look at you and be like, uh, uh, nah, nah. They might not be interested. You know, you might not want to find that out because that's the ultimate thing. See, the player is at least showing interest, you know. He's engaging. He's coming over. He finds you attractive because a player only going to talk to a woman he finds attractive, you know. Even if he's looking for an easy woman, it's still going to be somebody he finds attractive and easy, you know. So, you know, that's the thing. He's going to he's going to get it. And then sometimes you can even pick up on You'll see – you might go in the room and you'll see that guy who – is more chatty, more gregarious or something. And then you see him and you notice it. And you be like, oh, I want that chatty and gregarious, gregariousness over here. So, boom. You know? And you know he's going to engage you. That's why, and ladies, we know that's why sometimes the guy you're interested in, he's, you know, let's, let's, let's spread it out. Say it's a room and it's, it's a mixed crowd. Your eyes automatically gravitate towards a man sitting with a group of women just talking and they all laugh. And all of a sudden you want to be over there because you want to see what's up. That's why a lot of women, you know, they'll, you know, for all this talk about shortage of men and everything, could go in there, ignore all the guys standing around and go for that guy who might just come in there with a woman. And he chilling. So it's like, "Mm, mm, what's up with him? You know, and that's understandable, ladies. That's understandable. You know, and, and if you feel that player, just understand that's the reason why. Yeah, and yeah, I know you don't want it. You probably wish that outstanding guy, handsome, you know, upstanding looking guy be the one to holler, but he don't. And you, we know at a deep level, shoot, all of a sudden you find that guy, that guy, average looking guy, at least he engaged in you. All of a sudden you start finding the cute on him or trying to smell it anyway. You know, that he might have that right cologne on. So... <laughs> Yeah, the things Rom thinks about. Anyway, right? That's all I have for today, ladies. I want y'all to think about that. For for some of y'all who like the players, y'all know that's why. Because you know at least he's going to engage you. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and many blessings.